Rescued from potential death, emergency crews pulling a trapped horse here from a Hillsborough County pond. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Brenda Lise Gonzalez shows us the dramatic video of the rescue and explains why her owner says this challenge is not over yet. Her owner doesn't know how she ended up down here nearly head deep in this muddy water, but she saw firsthand all it took to get her out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stuck in this muddy water. It freaked us all out. Everybody was just on edge. There's not much this horse's owner could do, but watch. I'm thinking she can't go like this. And wait, as rescue crews first tried pulling 20-year-old Kirsa out, the exhaustion starting to set in, the threat of water getting inside her lungs. I was panicking. An alarming situation even for this vet. There's no script for it. Who stood over Kirsa talking to her. Talking in a calm voice, telling her it's okay. Before seeing no other choice but to sedate her. She was still fighting. She was ready to get up. She just needed help. Crews had to strap Kirsa in, attaching her to this crane to lift her out. And they really did everything they could. It was it was amazing to see everything come together. There's still the threat that Kirsa could catch pneumonia. I'm hoping I'm praying so hard. But Nadia Acosta already knows her horse has the will. She's always got spunk. I mean, she's a Pasofino, so she's a she's a Spanish horse. I mean, I guess it's there naturally. And she saw firsthand the amount of people willing to help along the way. She's everything to me. I, like, I love that horse. The vet in Acosta will keep a close watch on Kirsa. In the meantime, the family is already working on plans to prevent Kirsa from wandering off into this area again. Reporting in Plant City, Brenda Luis Gonzalez, ABC Action News.